Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today I'll be showing you my top 10 ground loot guns in the new season 7. Just keep in mind that this list represents my personal opinion. I could be right, I could be wrong. And with that being said, let's get started with number 10. I had to choose between the Grau and the Maddox. The killing times are close to each other but I went for the Maddox. Those extra 10 bullets makes a big difference. And sometimes I use it as a close range SMG when I don't find one as it has a decent hip fire accuracy. In number 9, we have what I believe is one of the most underrated guns in the game, the Chopper. Again, this is one of the best guns to land on in a hot drop. It has the exact same hipfire accuracy as the Maddox, but in addition to that, you're getting a much bigger mag size. And at the same time, I find it easier to control with ADS at close to mid-range. Even the mobility isn't that bad, considering the fact that it's an LMG. And here are the killing times at 10 meters range and 50 meters range. Next in number 8 we actually have two guns, the Switchblade and the OTS. I put them together because they're very similar to each other. They both have the exact same hipfire accuracy but the Switchblade has 6 extra bullets in the mag, as well as slightly faster movement speed. As for the OTS it has better sprint to fire the leg, as well as a faster bullet speed which allows you to hit moving targets easily. And here are the killing times for both guns at 10 meters range and at 20 meters range. In number 7, we have another SMG which is the QXR. Despite having slower killing time than both the OTS and the Switchblade, the mag size makes all the difference. Getting 40 bullets without having to fight an extender mag is a true blessing that only SMG mains will understand. Other than that, it has the exact same hipfire accuracy, a sprint to fire delay that's in between the OTS and the Switchblade, and the exact movement speed as the OTS. Moving on to number 6, we have the AK-47. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. This gun used to be number 1 in most of my ranking videos, but not anymore. As we have other ARs that received buffs over the last few seasons, which made them a main choice for me. So here are the killing times at 10 meters range and 50 meters range, which are really good, but not the best. We arrived to the top 5 starting with the M4. It actually has very similar killing times to the AK-47, but overall it kills faster. That combined with the fact that it's easier to control and easier to snap into the targets makes me always choose it over the AK-47. And here are the killing times comparison against the AK-47 at 10 meters range and at 50 meters range. In number 4 we have one of my all time favorite guns in the game, the QQ9. Other than having one of the best looking skins Activision ever made, this gun has the fastest killing time among all the SMGs I've tested so far. And it has a bit of everything, fast bullet speed, short sprint to fire delay and a decent movement speed. But the reason why I placed it in number 4 because you need to find an extender mag, otherwise you're gonna struggle. Moving on to the top 3, we have the shotgun fam, the HS04, the BY15, the KRM and the Jack 12. I put them all together because I think each has its own pros and cons. And it all comes down to you and your playstyle. The Jack 12 is for new players as it doesn't really require any skill to use. For every bullet that comes out of that gun, 10,000 cells dies inside your brain. As for the BY15, it has the fastest fire rate and the best hip fire accuracy, but the least damage. The HS04 has the most damage, the shortest sprint to fire delay and the fastest movement speed, but it also has the shortest range and the slowest fire rate. As for the KRM, it has a bit of everything, and it's kind of in between the BY-15 and the HS-04. Next in number 2, the gun that I was so happy to see back to the ground loot this season, the PPSH. This gun has a mag size of an LMG and a fast fire rate that allows it to have a good killing time. Obviously not as good as some other SMGs like the QQ9 or the OTS, but it's up there. Same thing goes to the other stats. Not the best sprint to fire delay or the movement speed. But honestly for an SMG that has 65 bullets, they're really good, as it allows me to knock at least 2 enemies without having to reload. And finally in number 1 you all saw it coming, the gun that's broken beyond repair, the AK-117. This gun is pure aimbot, 
I'm not even joking. It aims so fast and snaps right into the target. Plus the fact that it's so easy to switch between enemies. It's like aim assist on steroids. That combined with the fast killing time that beats both the M4 and the AK-47 at both 10 meters range and 50 meters range. And it's broken for an obvious reason. Because Activision wanted to cash out on the mythic AK-117 skin. The only downside is the reload time. So try to find an extender mag. I mean, it's still good without it, but finding one will make your life a lot easier. Moving on to the gameplay. I had a fun game with some good action and I'll be using guns from today's list. I hope you guys enjoy. Tip number one when landing in New Vision City is to always check this area. Many enemies love to land there because it's safer and at the same time they have high ground over you. So they kill you first and then they come to take all the juicy loot. The dog tag can help them return to the battle. Your job is coming. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog down. The ring is in battle. The revive flight has arrived. I got some really good loot and a good amount of kills. And I still believe there were more enemies there, but people tend to camp a lot in that place. So the more you stay, the more chances of you getting backstabbed by a camper. We also lost two teammates in the process. Some of you guys ate me alive in one of the games I posted for not reviving one of my teammates in Black Market. Now you see why. I used to risk my life and kill myself sometimes to revive my teammates, but not anymore. Sure, you can be nice and risk your life to save randoms, but for me, it's not worth it. Most randoms these days are selfish. And just like this guy, they don't care and they just leave the game after you revive them. I still go for the tags when it's safe and the coast is clear, but I don't go as far as risking my life. This enemy squad wasn't really the best, but pushing them was very risky, especially that one of them was using an SMR. So I took that chance and I made a big flank on them while they're distracted fighting my teammate.
Yeah, yeah Jeff is coming. Airdrop has been delivered. Chip terminal is on the way. The safe zone is collapsing. cleaned farm and it was about time we get a loadout gun and to be honest I couldn't finish the game without one because I had two of the best guns with some of the best marks Flight will arrive in one minute. Safe zone is collapsing. The airdrop is coming. Receive the car. Airdrop has been delivered. I'm hurt. The enemy is near. Yeah, I know, that was a dumb push. I knew it was, but I went for it anyway. Usually with fast reaction, you can still win in these situations. But against a good enemy, you're mostly gonna die. Unless you pre-fire in a perfect timing. Luckily, my teammate was smart. He smoked my tag and he scanned it. And I was back within 20 seconds. Airdrop, Airdrop is coming. Ready. Airdrop has been delivered. Yo, ship ready for upgrade. The safe zone is collapsing.
is near. Enemy is near! I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you find it useful. And if you did, then kindly leave a like on your way out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.